Hey, I'm making my first programming tutorial video here. Um, it's going to be a focus on stock trading right now. So I've never really done automated trading before uh, programmatically. Um, so I'm going to try it for the first time on here and try to figure out as I go and also record what I'm doing in case it helps anyone else. So the reason I thought about doing this is because I was just browsing on GitHub wondering if there was um, an official Robinhood API in order to make trades. And I found some unofficial APIs that were created by other developers who were just like reverse engineering the Robinhood API and seeing what request uh, it makes and just writing little Python scripts uh, to make trades for themselves. So uh, I'm going to try that out here and see how it goes. So uh, you'll see here uh, on GitHub, I found this one, GitHub, and then here's the address. You can see this is a Python framework to make trades using the Robinhood private API. Uh, if you browse the source code for a second, you can kind of see how it works. So they have this Robinhood class here, um, and they include requests. And it's just a big wrapper and makes a bunch of HTTP requests uh, to Robinhood endpoints. So someone must have went in the Robinhood app, opened their uh, Chrome developer console, or just uh, looked at the traffic from their mobile app and figured out uh, these are the endpoints that Robinhood is hitting. Um, if I just make requests to these same Robinhood endpoints here and send it the same information and analyze the response, you know, I can automate uh, my own scripts uh, and program Robinhood myself. So we're going to try to use some of these functions and endpoints that have been provided uh, to make our own script and see how it works. Maybe you can come up with some uh, cool uses of it. Maybe I'll come up with some cool uses of it. So um, I'm going to start off in my terminal. Um, so what you need to have, first of all, is Python 3 and you need to have git installed uh, and you should probably read up on what git is and install that in advance if if you don't have it already because uh, I'm not going to really go into the details of how that works so I'm going to copy uh, this uh, URL right here for the git repository and I'm in a directory here um, I made a directory called trading where I'm going to put these scripts and I also made a directory called robotrade that's what I'm going to call um, this set of scripts. Um, so the first thing I'll do is type git clone and clone that repository. And if I list it out, you'll see that I have this Robinhood directory now, which is good. I played with this right before I started this video, and one thing I discovered is that the login functionality of Robinhood's private API has changed. So what's in the master branch here uh, doesn't actually work what's in this tutorial. But when looking around, I noticed there was another branch in here um, called PR150. And this branch actually fixes and adds uh, fixes for some of the changes uh, in Robinhood's API. And I test it, and the login functionality works. So what we're going to need to do is change to this branch. So if you uh, go into this Robinhood directory, type git branch, you'll see we're on master. So I'm going to check out PR150 and you see it'll switch uh, to that branch uh, and this is the one that'll work correctly. The second thing I'm going to do, since I have Python 3 installed, I also have uh, the Python package manager so I need to actually install um, this package. This is just the source code but you see there's like a set of pi in here and so forth. So I can actually type pip install dot here and you'll see it installs um, a variety of dependencies uh, in this package, um, like you see, in, in installs uh, the request library right here, which is a popular Python package um, used for making HTTP requests. So now that that is done, I should be able to use it. So I'll change into that RoboTrade directory. Um, I'm just going to use Visual Studio Code here, and you'll see what I've done inside of there. Um, I made two files. One is called trade.py. And that'll just be the name of our trading script. And I also made a config.py. Uh, the reason for that is uh, in order to actually use this API, obviously, uh, you're really hitting a real Robinhood account. And to do that, you actually need to send a username and password um, over the wire there. Um, since I don't want to send show you my username and password on the camera here, I'm just going to put that in a config file. And you can replace uh, this username and password with yours if you want to test this out. So my config.py here has my real username and password. So in trade.py, I'm going to do import 
config. And I'm also going to copy some of the code from the official documentation to try that out. So you see they have this import statement. Uh, they log in. Um, it looks like there's a method for getting all the information on an instrument by ticker symbol. Looks like it's zero index here. Uh, it might return multiple tickers, and it just gets the most popular one. Um, so you can see they, they return element zero. And then there's this method for quote data, which I assume will just make, uh, will tell you the current price, uh, the bid and ask, and information like that. And then after that, it looks like it actually has place buy order and place sell order. So you can buy and sell that stock if there's money in your account. Uh, I'm not going to do that quite yet. Uh, I'm going to first make sure this is working and get accurate price data and kind of then determine like what are the rules under which I will automatically buy and sell a stock. I don't even know what those will be yet, so that will probably be a future video. So for right now, I just want to see if I can have this login into my Robinhood account and have it obtain a stock quote and a price. So I'm going to just copy paste this. So this is going into Visual Studio Code. Um, you see I have from Robinhood, import Robinhood, and I'm just going to change some of these variable names a little bit. Uh, I'm just going to instantiate this Robinhood class, and I'll do logged in equals Robinhood.login, and I'm not putting my username and password directly in here. I have that config file that I created earlier, so I'm going to do config.username, config.password. Okay, and it'll use the ones from my config file because I imported it up here. And I'm going to say stock equals robinhood.instruments. And I don't know that ticker as well, but I've been liking Twitter lately. So I'm going to pass that in. And then I'm going to say quote equals robinhood.quote data um, Twitter. So I'm going to print out both of these responses to you and see what it gets back. So let's just write out what we're doing. Uh, printing stock instrument info. And I'm also going to say uh, printing quote data for Twitter. And let's see what happens. So I'll go over to my terminal here. And I'm in my robo trade directory, and I'll type python3 trade.py. And let's see what happens. So it looks like I have multi-factor authentication enabled. So I actually just got a text message just now. And it looks like this library automatically prompts you and gives you a place to put your SMS code. So I'm going to do that. So I just got that code. And I don't think this will help you at all, so I'm just going to type it in. And you'll see I got some information back in regular old JSON format. So the first call that I made was uh, the stock instrument uh, function. And you'll see the info we got back. We got this margin ratio here, tradeability. I don't know what all these things are yet, but those sound very interesting. And what else do we have? Um, market tradeability. OK, so it looks like I can maybe get information about the fundamentals. We have a bunch of URLs for the quote and so forth. Um, the name of the stock, so we know this is actually Twitter Inc. We got the right symbol. Um, and there's various UIDs or unique IDs here. And those could probably be used for, for other purposes that we'll find out later. Um, so the, the, this, um, oh, a listing date, that's interesting. So you kind of know the IPO date. So Twitter's been around since 2013, it looks like. That's the listing date. And then, um, so th this wasn't that interesting. It, ma it mainly just showed uh, that it's Twitter Inc. for that symbol. So it's a good symbol lookup. Um, and it gives us some UIDs that we can probably do more useful things with. But what is in interesting here is the quote data. So you can see for that ticker symbol, I have an asking price, um, an asking size, and a bid price, and a bid size. So someone wants 41.54 for it, and there's people bidding 41.53. So we've got the last trade price, extended hours information, previous close, um, trading halted, a couple booleans in here to know the status of that stock and when it was last updated. So that's great information we have. We can make 
request to this periodically to check in on the price and maybe wanna, we want to plot that information on some type of charts you know look at have it uh, you know look at some moving averages or some some other indicators we have that we want to place a trade on and then when it reaches some certain condition um, we can try using these other uh, other functions later to place a buy order and sell order um, but we'll get into that later I just wanted to record this once and actually put something out there um, and see if I enjoy these types of videos uh, and making them and see if they're useful to anyone um, so yeah and if you want to follow me I just started a Twitter account here, it's brand new, but I'm going to get more involved in the financial Twitter community and post trade ideas. A lot of it's just going to be retweets of other traders that I've been following and see what they're doing. But I'm going to try to expand on this topic of how to use Robinhood because I, I find it to be a very interesting application. But also since I'm a software engineer, I want to write some programming scripts uh, and figure out how to uh, make more automated trading systems because I don't know how to do that so I'll learn something but also not many other people are covering this topic so thanks